हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे वी विल सी हॉस्पिटल इन्फॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम मींस वी कैन कॉल इट एज ए एच आई एम एस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इन दैट देर आर सम डिफरेंट मॉडल्स सो बिफोर ऑफ दैट आई हैव टू गिव सम प्रायर इन्फॉर्मेशन टू दिस प्रोजेक्ट प्रीवियसली वी आर यूजिंग रजिस्टर नोटबुक्स एंड इन दैट वी आर मेन्टेनिंग ऑल द हॉस्पिटल रेकॉर्ड्स करेक्ट like uh, patient in history patient information then there is a in patient department history as well as all things which are related to the clinical records medical record room so right now nowadays we are using the software means hims software we can say hospital information management system correct and it is a ui and from that software you are creating a entry and it will save in at some place means we are saving all these data in the database in relational database management system there are different things like different types as well like mysql oracle sql server so in this project i am using sql server as a database and from application point of view you can use the java dot net from the front end in few second we will see modules of hims project and technical details of this project why this project is useful for you and how it help it in your career first of all project is useful because if you know this project from ground means you know the fundamental concept of hims hospital information management system then you can easily explain to your interviewer you can add this project in your profile and you will get the knowledge how to create the database how to create the different entities means how these entities are related to each other and you will know fundamental aspect or fundamental knowledge of hospital and one more thing means how to insert n number of records millions of records in table and after that once that database is designed and then how to create the database diagram and all the data is in the database after that you can create the different reports you can work on that particular different queries you can create self sql queries on that particular project and this is the powerful data set for you like for an example adventure microsoft having the database like the adventure works they created for you means like uh, from database point of view from olap point of view they are having a uh, some different data sets so it is like a data set for you for your practice and it is for self learning as well it will be helpful for beginner or sql developer or etl developer means suppose you have to work on ssis tool sql server integration services or sql server analysis services then you can use this project as a source and you, you have to analyze the data means data analyst data scientist can use this project you can use this project as a input for reporting project means if you have to develop the reports in ssrs or a tableau or power bi then you can use this project as a source there are different modules in hims project we will go through one by one first of all opd outpatient department means patient visit to the hospital at that time doctor consultation is done and before of the consultation he have to take the one case paper from the billing department and then he visit to the doctor and during the consultation process doctor will suggest him or her 
different medicine pathology test radiology test and based on the uh, investigation result means pathology test or radiology test doctor will suggest him to admit or go to the home so suppose patient condition is severe or we can say serious then doctor suggest him or her to admit in the hospital and under his observation means doctor's observation nurses will treat him and there are some different medicines and pathology test or radiology test are taken care by the hospital and sub and after some days the patient is okay or there is a cure the patient and at the end doctor will discharge him correct and at the end he need to pay some money means whatever that bill amount and that come under the billing department next model is the pathology or we can call it as a laboratory in that all the um, tests are carried out and in radiology x-ray ct scan mri scan or sonography these tests are carried out and next is the pharmacy it means we will get all the medicine from here and next is the inventory all the stocks are collected at here means they are taking care of the hospital related equipments then biomedical equipments as well as there are some um, different things means whatever accessories available in the hospital they are maintaining in the inventory module or store department we can say next is the account department we can call it as a money management and all the debit credit and supplier then patient all the accounts are handled in account department then blood bank suppose patient requires some blood at that time from blood bank he will get that the blood related to the based on the his blood group and blood availability and next is the stop module means in that all the staffs working in a hospital and their information so all these information are available in the staff and payroll module and next is the administration means in that who is taking care of inter hospital and there are some management activities management reports or there is a trust hospital then present that report uh, reports to the trustee and one more thing there is a rights related activity or administration point of view so admin will take care in administration module next is project technical details in that application is either design in asp.net java core mvc and the back end is database means in that we can use sql server oracle mysql right now i considered uh, sql server as a relational database management en engine and the database name is the hms so let's see in detail first of all we have to create the database and understand the different entities different entities are like miss patient then there is a doctor then staff these are the entities correct and table creation table creation it means in this step we have to create the different tables and database diagram means how these tables are related to each other we required that information means there is a suppose there is a patient and he visit to the hospital at that time patient is the different table means we are maintaining all information about the patient and visit it means that patient is visited to the hospital means suppose there is a n number of times he visited then there is a one to many relationship so we have to create that relationship and maintain that primary key foreign key so we can with the help of database diagram we can get that 
these things easily and next is the test data insertion means for there are two things means from application we will get the data correct but right now this is the sql project so i inserted test data in the tables so we can insert n number of records in in terms of the millions of records in the table so i will illustrate all the things in few seconds and i will explain what is the purpose of each table in detail and there is a select query select query is nothing but when our project at the end of this project uh, table creation is done data insertion is done then we have to fetch that data correct so at that time select query is required correct so we will uh, go through that and next whatever the questions are available for the exercise so i will explain them with their solution as well so let's see in detail and these are the some links with the help of that we can means you can connect to me like the instagram channel if so let's start with the database yes here is the script with the help of this script we can create the database and there are multiple tables are in the uh, script means here there is a script correct how this script i get yeah first of all right click right click on the database then there is a task and then generate scripts so click on next then script enter database and all the database object and second way is specifically you want five tables or four tables with data or without data so suppose i selected all the tables then next is advance and in advance you can select schema schema means structure of the table and schema and data it means uh, schema plus data if you select data only then you will get the only data and uh, here is the index script you require or not trigger script are required or not then there is a foreign keys so all the things are mentioned here so what i will do i will uh, create a one separate session on it means uh, how to generate the script from the existing database and there is a sql server version means which version do you want means from 2005 to the till date so we will see in detail in the next session for time being i am creating the uh, only schema correct and uh, there is a save as script we can uh, specify the script on the specific location or uh, you can uh, open in new query window so when i select it and then click on the next so it collecting whatever that objects and save to new query window preparing it means they are preparing the sql definition and just click on the finish so here is the script means use database as a from practice database correct go is the batch separator these are the unseen also on code to identifier on so we will go through in detail and uh, these are the database tables like the check character data type it is the table so in this way we can create the database script or a table script individual table script we can create as well uh, expand the table and right click then script table as create to new query window so here you will get only script for the specific table only and drop means drop table then drop and create means drop the existing table and create the new table there is a select insert update delete so we will get all the scripts related to the individual table for the same objects like view stop procedure we can do that and uh, yeah right now so i created that hms 
database previously and i grab the database script from there and right now it is in front of you so i created there are 29 to 30 tables and whatever that script is generated we can apply that and i created some views as well it's just for your understanding okay so just i will execute it boom correct so yeah if you see refresh it i will explain all the tables in detail first of all just see yeah whatever the tables so you will get complete list of table and if i uh, make a query on it select star from information schema dot tables so you will get complete list of table here you can use sys dot table as well information schema as well so these are nothing but the schema and uh, these are the tables correct these are the four are the view so 31 or 30 tables are created at here and uh, yeah so i will explain that uh, each table in few seconds but before of that we will insert the data in it so that uh, what i will do i will explain each in detail so i will grab the first of all insert script here yeah use HIMS go and uh, so I will create it first of all and I mentioned there are uh, how many doctors or how many patients we have to create so I mentioned that in the loop so it is the radiology test pathology test patient data insert here i am inserting 100 patients in it i will first of all i will execute this script in a one stroke and then we will do one by one execute it okay i have actually i selected that 100 that's why yeah master data insert means master data is started in that there are four uh, i think uh, 10 to 15 tables and there is a staff doctor service patient visit opd bill then there is admission data and application functionality correct so data is inserted means right now our database is ready we can query the database correct but before of that i have to explain you what are the different tables and how much records of that particular table so i'm i'm select query at here i'm checking how tables are populated with record count or not so yeah i'm i got the record count in it yes correct so one by one first of all department yeah this is the department table first of all we will so what we did we created the table script first then inserted the data so in the next step what we what we can do we can drop all the tables and we can create one by one and insert the data in it so that you will get the complete understanding means what are the data in it and how they are correlated with each other right now i am uh, dropping the tables let's refresh the database okay you are not getting anything why because we dropped it yes all the tables are dropped nothing in it 
correct and uh, before of that i have to give one more information means uh, here is the learn sql with sagar dot blogspot dot com here you will get the complete code means sql project sims in hims project there is a part on create table script insert data select query if you click on insert data script so you will get same script i am executing it right now okay and uh, yes first of all we have to create the table in one stroke and so use the hims execute it and you have to comment it because uh, hims database is already we have so execute it yeah in one stroke we got all the 30 40 30 32 tables so how we get that information yes it's information schema dot tables so it contains the table as well as view so 34 records count we have okay and um, yeah so what i will do we will uh, do the insert data one by one so that you will get the clarity on it first of all master data and uh, transaction data i am opening the flow dot sql before of that uh, actually there are some department as we seen in the previous uh, previously in few minutes uh, means there is a outpatient department inpatient department billing pathology radiology pharmacy inventory these are the different modules correct i considered mainly opd ipd billing pathology radiology and uh, staff related thing doctor then after that there is a admin related things so yeah and prescription related thing clin clinical related things and uh, one more thing i didn't consider the pharmacy and inventory because for that we have to create the separate tables for them and uh, once we create the pharmacy on inventory then that store module will complete but rest of the things i completed if you see select star from information schema dot tables so you will get the list and first of all the next question is how to suppose this database is created correct means this is the xyz database no problem but you have to understand the database means suppose in interview any person can ask the question to you means uh, let's say how to understand the database suppose you are new to any organization then how to understand it first of all we have to analyze it how to analyze it yeah this is the query with the help of that you can analyze the dependency of it and once i will share this query on uh, my blog and uh, execute it on the database means whatever database you have to understand so it will give us the complete list of the table with their level level it means the hierarchy hierarchy it nothing but the suppose these are the some zero level tables zero level tables it means it is the master level information or a master table we can say and after that there is a one level two level three level four so such like that means let's say one example country is the table and there is a basic table who is the basic table country related there is a nationality nationality id nationality there is a nothing foreign key means in the nationality table nationality is the basic one and nationality id is come in a country table country id is come into the state like this state is come into the city so that hierarchy is increased by one by one i will explain uh, yeah so 
i will explain it in a deeply manner but here you will get the complete understanding uh, what is the database level hierarchy means you will get the table information which is at the zero level which is at the one level so that you could understand and understand the data of table one by one means let's say patient category what is in the patient category there are categories of the different things means let's say here is the insert query and i am executing this script so select star from patient category correct let's see here i am yeah means here is the self company staff or staff dependent self a patient means that patient is the self means who is coming with uh means his own and company means insurance like this uh, the company like means suppose the particular patient is having a card like a insurance company card so we can treat as a company patient and staff means staff is admit or uh, he come on the he's work in that particular hospital and he having some condition or something like that so he come under the category and staff dependent means staff relative like blood relation means father mother sister so they are the staff dependent so this is the patient category correct so then next one is the relation before of that so these are the some these are some master tables this they are not dependent on any other table like application functionality means suppose there is a menu bar file edit view query so suppose there is a billing user here is the billing an option correct so billing user can see only that menu so such a functionality means application functionality he can able to view based on his rights so this table is uh, related with the application functionality and department means hospital having the different departments first of all what i will do i will explain just yeah means you got the clear idea about the level and uh, so from this way you can understand the database just select means first of all identify the hierarchy of that particular tables and second thing select table one by one see the data of it and second thing here is the database diagram correct click on new database diagram okay so i am giving you the simple example there is a uh, nationality nationality then country and after that uh, uh, sorry state and uh, after that city add it okay close it so this diagram is formed at here yes here you can uh, do one more thing means uh, show relationship labels yes is country and functionality means foreign key foreign key table which one with the foreign key this is the nothing but the foreign key and nationality means here is the indian is the nationality and there is a country as a india and after that one country having the multiple state 
right and uh, like the fk state means foreign key is the state and country is the primary key table so means one country india having the five state or 10 state whatever that and that state information is available in the state table and next one is the city means suppose there is a state as a maharashtra and maharashtra having 30 cities 50 cities so they are all collected at here in the city table and we can do or uh, we can add multiple tables at here and you will get the relationship in between these two and uh, let's say we can delete the relationship and we can form that relationship as well so i am deleting it so are you sure want to delete yes so there is a nothing relationship i have to form it again then nationality id go connect to it and who is the primary key table who is the foreign key table right and which is the column so we have to set it at here and uh, okay click on okay yes and just save it means uh, diagram name yes i'm saving the diagram as a diagram underscore zero okay uh, same like uh, you can add multiple tables for your understanding and you will get the database knowledge means how to understand that particular database okay uh, i am not saving this query okay and uh, next thing is i will explain you what are the master tables and what are the different tables first of all department department is nothing but in hospital there are multiple departments like the pathology radiology then administrative department and account it and some clinical departments as well like uh, medicine orthopedic and gynecology ophthalmology so these are nothing but the departments gender next table is the gender male and female insurance company star health aditya birla health insurance hdf sergo all this information is stored in the insurance company nationality means indian usa so these are in the nationality table patient category as i said cell company patient staff staff dependents these are the patient category ECHS, cghs so we can differentiate it with the patient category relationship means suppose one patient is uh, come to the hospital and he is with father mother or a brother so that relationship come into the relationship relation table service category means there are different services in the database or uh, we can say we have to manage in the hospital like suppose there is a follow-up consultation or a first time consultation or a, there are some pathology test like t3 t4 tsh thyroid test or hbsg test so those are coming into the pathology services and uh, some of the tests are radiology tests like the x-ray mri ct scan those are come into the radiology so that's why we are categorized them into the one single unit known as the service category and unit unit is when come in when unit come into the picture suppose in a one city or a different cities there are different hospitals means of the one head means for an example sayadri is the hospital they are having multiple branches or aims hospital aims having the different branches like so these are nothing but the different units but they are using the one software for all of them correct so that is nothing but the unit means it contains the unit level information and ward ward means uh, 
where patient can stay means there is a female ward male ward general ward or pediatric ward so yeah we have to store that information in ward then second one is the room means uh, room is nothing but the when room is come into the picture there is a uh, special room or uh, that means there are some patients those are uh, we can say one separate room or a twin room miss twin patient or so miss two patient in a one room or a three patient in a one room at that time we can use that table we have to store such information bed bed is allocated to the patient correct either it is in ward or either it is in a room so bed contain the two columns ward id as well as room id means either it is a ward either it is related to the room yeah so this information available in the bed then next to in the country means like the india means yeah or uk us so that information we can save in a country state means suppose india having the multiple state that in entry information entering the test state and city let's say maharashtra is the state so it contains the different cities so we can list all these information into the city table and service service table is used for to managing all the services available in the hospital means like different services from when patient reach to the hospital at that time case paper correct and case paper is related with means registration then consultation which doctor then follow-up consultation then pathology tests are coming to the picture radiology test tests are coming to the picture so these are the some different services we are providing to the customer or a health package health package come on uh, in that health package we can cover different services in the comprehensive manner means let's say 10 test there is a 500 cost but you buy that particular package then you will save 100 or 150 so it is the bulk test we can carry in one uh, bulk and next is the doctor doctor means there is he doctor is the entity and uh, we can save all the information related to the doctor in the doctor table and patient obviously these are the three entities main entities and uh, patient patient is the entity and we save all the patient data in the patient table staff all the information related to the staff we can save in the staff table and admission First of all, patient come to the OPD and then after that he admit in the hospital. So when admission is done, then we can save all this information in the admission table. Next table is visit means suppose patient registration is done means we entered the information is entered into the patient table after that he have to uh, visit to the particular orthopedic doctor medicine doctor then we can mark that particular patient visit into the visit table and then at the end either it that patient is on the basis of opd level or ipd level and then finally we have to make the entry in the bill table so we require that and charge charge contain the different service wise entry means suppose the patient is the for consultation and uh, after that he have to do some pathology test correct so pathology having uh, 400 charges and consultation having the 100 so these are the segregation means one plus 100 plus 400 total is the 
500 so bill contain the information as a 500 and charge contain the information as a 218 one is the 100 and one is the 400 and concession is also managed by service wise means suppose there uh, pathology services having the 20 percent concession and so we can manage that and at the end in the billing uh, bill table we can save the total consult uh, concession of that particular services and at the end once the uh, patient is cured the discharge to the patient so all the information related to the discharge is saved into the discharge table and advance means suppose uh, while admit the patient we are taking some advance from the patient like the 500 or a 1000 whatever that amount so we will save that information in advance table then application functionality means before few minutes i uh, said there is an application correct application having the different functionalities means like the it content files means here is the administration then master tables who are having their rights like uh, billing department pathology department these are the some menu bars same like the different functionalities and access rights access right it means first of all i will explain about the user means hospital having the staff there are let's say 10 staff and out of 10 staff uh, five members are uh, allocated they are having the computer system access or application access so these are the five users means one is from admin one is from billing so that billing user information is saved into the user table and what he having the access rights means he can access only billing so that information is stored into the access right and finally there are two tables means prescription prescription is nothing but when a patient visit to the doctor at that time um, doctors giving us the prescription so we can save that information digitally in the computerized system and with in pdf format or a image for image format and that instead we can have a two options we can store that image or pdf files in the database or another option means we can save it on the central storage or a shared location and that path into the database second method is best as compared to the instead of saving all the data into the database because database size will grow instead of that what we can do we can store that all the images basically on the basis of patients then there are opd ipd and their path is stored into the database and second one is the clinical note means ipd patient having some monitoring means we are monitoring the ipd patient they are having some different readings and there is a admission form discharge form or a previous reports at the end we scan all the complete file and save into the our system for the future point of view we can call it as a medical record and based on the government policy we can keep that record in terms of in in the form of digital way and physical way as well okay and uh, yeah i think we covered all the tables so we will see insert script yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please share it and subscribe my channel thank you very much bye bye